There is a high chance that you have heard about Unity Homes located within Tatu City, which is a massive project of about 5,000 acres, and Unity Homes occupy about 10 acres of that space. And today you have the opportunity to draw a three bedroom apartment, one of their listing, which is 150 square meters. Uh, prices range from 155,000 US dollars to about 184,000 US dollars. They have these prices uh, depend on which floor you choose and the view as well. They have six views to choose from. And uh, for those who would want to understand where this place is located, it's just a few kilometers of uh, Eastern Bypass, which you can use to access the airport easily. And uh, you can also use the Northern Bypass to access to rivers, onwards to Roka and the Nakuru Nairobi Highway. And uh, the CBD is just a few kilometers down Dika Road. So it's in terms of location, the place is perfect. And uh, this place gets a lot of greenery. I mean, we're talking about 5,000 acres. It, we are surrounded by acreage, hundreds of acreage in terms of trees. And uh, for me, that is just amazing because for once, I'm not seeing buildings all over, but I'm seeing greenery as well. And uh, Tatu City, as the name says, is a city. So you have light industries, you have uh, places where people can live and so on. And uh, for these apartments, in terms of amenities, you get a heated swimming pool, you get a very good uh, kids playing area. We were looking at it earlier on, and we were like, this is a proper, kids playing area because there's space and a lot of greenery and uh, again if you're like me and you like to run in the morning or jog or walk there's space for that if you want to cycle there's space for that so walk with me inside so that we can see what this three bedroom has to offer follow me This is the corridor that takes you to your three bedroom apartment. And I want to help you understand the floor plan. On this side, you have two apartments. That is a two bedroom and another two bedroom. And on this side, you have just one apartment, which is a three bedroom apartment. Basically, the two bedroom apartments have been put into one. And that's what we want to see. 150 square meters. Let's go inside and check out this three bedroom apartment. And uh, one of the things you notice about this place is that there's so much white outside, even in the door. I mean, look at the door. It's all white with a bit of stainless there. And um, let's close that. This door is 85 kg. Interesting. So we have been seeing this, all these many rocks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so quite becoming a common common thing in the show. Yeah. It's, it, it swings very light, you can't tell it's oh, 85 yeah. kgs. Yeah, it just yeah. means it is well fixed and well balanced, Yeah, which is why it uh, swings with that easy. And well framed as well. Eh? Yep. So now we're inside this space, one of the things you notice is how open it is. I think Willis and I agree that uh, on one of the things that we like about this apartment is the openness and uh, we commented about that in the first time we came into the house and on this side you have your sitting area uh, with uh, that coach setup i like the mirror setup and uh, this tv cabinetry and opening to and the lighting pictures as well they're really nice by the way yeah they're really yeah. nice yeah, yeah. i like how they like it's consistent with the whole house yeah uh, you guys will see like their lighting fixtures are really awesome yeah. they give this home uh, such a warm feel the staging is really perfect yeah. for this house and you have a balcony here and so i want to side these doors by the floor almost floor to ceiling uh grass doors and they can push this for it is to see yeah. and you have a balcony here uh small but uh you can put maybe two seats like a small table and uh that's uh part of unity homes as well uh, remember this place is, the Unity Homes occupy 10 acres in Tatu City. Tatu City itself is 5,000 acres. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of space. That's a lot. And from here, you can see some, some space that is occupied by the industries, light industries. Yeah. And uh, you have so much greenery. I remember when we were driving in here, Willis was complaining about how far it is from the road. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a good walk. Yeah. 
with so much greenery. You can't even see the road from yeah, here, from, from where we are. You can't hear anything. It's serene. It's quiet. It's just a perfect environment to, you know, to live to bring up your kids yeah uh, for me, the whole place is like a yeah. park look at people walking yeah I mean, people are walking people are just seated on yeah. this yeah you know just minding their own business it's actually like living within a park yeah so instead of going to a boretum on sundays you have yeah. you're living within a boretum or yeah. karura for that matter <laughs> so i can imagine jogging in this you know one of the problems about uh like where i live yeah is that either you have to drive uh far yeah. to a controlled uh it's like a jogging track mm -hmm. or you have to deal with the road yeah and uh yeah. this would be perfect for me the jogging would be the more fun yeah. and safe and for safer that, for that matter yeah yeah because so, there there's a speed limit also within the tattoo city like. one thing i like about this place is the speed limit yeah and the fact that they insisted they insist at the gate yeah maintain 40 kilometers for driving yeah uh that's very good because the roads are very good yeah yeah so instead of having those bumps that uh, scratch your cars yeah. ray, ray mentioned them in one of his uh car <laughs> reviews and yeah. he was talking about uh when you live in certain areas that i will mention <laughs> the bumps will destroy your uh, attends i told them attends so yeah. in this case if you have your audi i know will is with a uh, love for oh, audis of course yeah and uh, if you have a mark which is low then this is your perfect place the only bumps you're going to face is maybe out there not here yeah so that's a good thing the, the speed uh, limit and before I forget really have you noticed the tiles yep yeah so these are ceramic tiles with yeah. a teak wood texture yeah. and on this side we have porcelain tiles yeah yeah so i like the contrast by the the black and the teak contrast yes. this is a very unique contrast that you haven't seen in a while I don't think we have visited a house with black tiles. Uh, no. So this is None the first one, I yeah? can remember. And especially the hexagonal shape, yeah? Yeah. This uh, interesting detail. And I like this space that separates your sitting area and your and dining your dining, area. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It might, you might not notice it if you're not paying much attention, but uh, it, it plays an important role to make yeah. the room, you know, no feel uh, yeah yeah little, small yeah. yeah or limited and you have a very nice mirror set up here like i say this this house is just amazing yeah. i really do commend the guy or the lady who did this the staging, staging yeah. yeah she has done a very good job yeah and uh, there goes your dining area and uh, this even the windows are, are slide and i want to show people yeah because in this uh, house tours we show everything every detail matters so mm. and they slide with ease just like the door opens the with door. ease yeah 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 so that's a nice thing to note i like how they there are no grills in this house that's a mm, very good detail that, yeah true, yeah true. <laughs> yeah and on this other side you also have this uh windows bringing yeah. in uh fresh, fresh air. air yeah that's a good thing to have and flowing on you have this uh glass screen separating your dining yeah. area yeah and your kitchen area and immediately move into your kitchen area they have this setup which is more like a breakfast you know a bar yeah. which is a really nice setup i like it i also uh, like it also like this shelf uh setup there it's very minimal but you know still a lot and again the black tiles the posing tiles are there and now we are back to the thick ceramic ceramic tiles yeah. and uh look at your kitchen Again. It's amazing. I love this. Look at how island. if you look at how we just uh, the the flow of things yeah. from the sitting area to your dining to your, to kitchen, your kitchen, and you can see it all. Yeah, yeah. I know you love open kitchens. Really. I love them. So I really this love is, them. This is ideal for you, and I uh, like. And the also ground. with the island at the yeah. center of it and having the sink there, yeah. like yeah. that's a, that's yeah. a really good thing. Yeah. Uh, this is a unique part because often we find the sinks on there yeah ends. on the ends yeah yeah this uh, but uh in this case they put it at the center yeah. and uh the island is quite spacious i like uh it's a double sink so for me you know mm. it has to be a double sink it has so <laughs> this this is it you see um this, this is a very good quality i'm 
I'm glad that they went with that double sink setup. And uh, on this side, you have this mosaic uh, tiles as your backsplash. You have all this cabinetry place to store your stuff. Uh, the houses come fixed with a uh, hood smoke extractor, that is. And by the way, the houses also have uh, smoke detectors, yeah? Yeah. So in case of anything, this is a good fixture. True. You don't find it in many houses, but it's a very important part of a house. Yeah. And uh, the lighting. The down lighting is also yeah, very awesome. simple, but yeah. I amazing. really think I really think uh, this house they did, really did a good job yeah. with the lighting yeah. and the tiling. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good thing they did. Yeah, yeah, I, I have to agree with you on that. When it comes to the tiling and uh, the lighting, they yeah. got it perfect, yeah. and even natural lighting for that matter. Yeah, like is the house gets a lot of natural lighting. True. And uh, again, there's another balcony on this edge because why not have two? You know. Yeah, and no it wonder. doesn't end there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this balcony, I like how this grass, you know, yeah. instead of using just steel. Just steel, which too. Is a very good point. And you can see that some construction is still going on. Yeah. Uh, I've been told to that 70% uh, of this project is sold off. Uh, so just 30% remaining. And with this, mm -hmm. one thing I noticed, yeah. sometimes when you visit this project mm -hmm. and we say 70% sold, or even before I started this show, yeah, myself, yeah, I would hear people saying seventy percent sold, and I was like, ah, it's a like marketing gimmick. Yeah. Until we went to some houses, uh -huh. and you're told, no, don't showkiss that one. Yeah. The, the, the that, yeah. They are so, they already so. You know, you guys have sold all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you're trying to sell is this one. <laughs> it's not a marketing gimmick. It's not a marketing it's, gimmick. True. People are really buying these homes and. It's, it's a good thing to know that people are buying the homes, especially right now there's a conversation in the country about uh, the 3% contribution. Yeah. So I, I would love to hear guys comment about it. Personally, I don't support it. I'll speak about that in another episode. I don't think that is how it should be done. There are better ways to do it, government. So, mm. but with, what, what are your comments? Let us know in the, uh, the comment section. Oh, and more cabinetry. I have a love for this recessed handles yeah. because you don't want uh, handles floating here. Yeah. So these are always a smart way of going. And um, I commend it. I commend them for mm. going with that. Again, the granite tops continues, open shelving, counters. Let's move on to this side so that we can see what we have here. And uh, immediately you get here, you're welcome to your utility space. And uh, I call it a utility, it's where you can have uh, your washing machine, you can put up shelves here. Yeah. So you can add uh, sort of like a pantry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this, this, is, this is quite a big space to have in this three bedroom. I think also how the space has been shared out yeah. is one of the things that you have to comment. Because we have been to be, uh, three bedroom apartments that are actually bigger than this. But they mm -hmm. don't feel big. Yeah, they don't feel yeah. big. And before I forget with this, mm -hmm. even the utility room. Yeah, it has a sliding window. Yeah, it gets a big window. This is really huge. And uh, I want to uh, always want to open these ones. So this one have Ah, there we go. Yeah. So nice one. And uh, on this side we have a first bedroom in there. And yeah, that's that's the space you get. You can use it as a kid's bedroom, as a guest bedroom. Uh, you have a wardrobe set up there. You have a table set up here. And uh, let's check out the next bedroom. And before we check out that bedroom, we have a bathroom that mm. is shared by these two. Yeah, the uh, two bedrooms. This two bedroom. Yeah. And uh, I can just walk in to show you. Well tiled, by the way. Very clean, very seamless. And the vanity. <laughs> This vanity is so simple, but probably one of my favorite vanity setups. Yeah. Very clean, especially because it's all granite. Yeah. This is a very good setup. And you have a window here bringing natural lighting into the house. And uh, yeah, interesting. And you have a rain head there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and the drain. Oh my goodness, look at this. Yeah. I did not see this as we were checking out the house early on. I'm noticing it now. Probably. The best drain we have seen in the show. So we really will have to capture this and show it. Look at that drain. Yeah, it has to be the best, right? It's a yeah. nice design. We haven't seen anything like this before on the show. So yeah. 
most of them are like a circle at the yeah end. just a circle yeah. so yeah, this is unique and, and that's this, unique. this is very nice yeah. this is very good good detail and uh moving on i have this other bedroom which gets a balcony and tons of natural lighting as you can see uh let's slide this door ah so that we can check it out and uh wow look at this so you have some construction ongoing and again so one of the things the best things about buying projects that are ongoing is that they come with um, better payment plans yeah. compared to finished uh projects projects yeah yeah so because you can if, if uh it's ongoing then you can sort of split your payments yeah. because the yeah or the period the building period and uh and even i think like you get sort of like a discount yeah yeah so and uh unit homes as we were talking to one of the representatives they told us they actually do deliver what you see here on the showroom is what you get in the houses yeah so you don't have a case where you buy a house and then you're like ah i thought you guys you did, didn't know yeah. what you guys promised <laughs> i just want to show this window because me and natural lighting I mean, and yeah. yeah this is very nice it's a very nice cozy home yeah it's a cozy home yeah. and the staging where is before you walk out you have to show the painting behind you it's a really <laughs> nice painting um, yeah yeah very interesting also you should talk about that artwork it was mounted be- beautifully thank you for reminding me yeah. because i almost forgot guys when i'm talking about details and perfect staging i have been to many houses and i always look at how they mount their paintings because i also have paintings in my house but this is the best mounting that i've seen so far it's not on the wall it's so it's, it's floating yeah, sort of floating. off the wall and it's done in a very seamless way Yeah. This is this is very interesting. Thank you for reminding me to touch on that. Yes. Now, walk with me to all the other side so that we can check out I, uh, I like how this the premise feels. This like this makes how this it house opens up for me. Um, kitchen to yeah. your bed to and makes it look so big. Yeah. In fact, when I was told it's 150 square meters, I go, "Huh? <laughs> you sure about that? Like it should, it should I, be a 200 and yeah, so." Yeah, this it looks so big. Yeah. but you can see it's it's a clever way of uh you know use of space huh? yeah and moving on to the side you have your common bathroom and you have this uh sort of a vanity setup again mm. with that we saw in the other bathroom mm. and uh your common bathroom let's move into the bedroom and see what we have here and yeah look at that really is this this uh primary bedroom there's something about it that just makes me love it it's very it's it's, it's not so big but it's not small yeah it's not small it's actually yeah. spacious i yeah. sh- should i should maybe take my words back by saying it's not so big it's very spacious <laughs> it's enough especially for a single man like me ah yeah. I, and i just want to sit here so that i can enjoy the coziness of this space yeah it feels cozy really cozy yeah it looks very nice and from this angle you can enjoy your primary bedroom it's uh, well set and i mean even the lighting fixtures i like the lighting fixture floating by the bedside and one thing you notice with this lighting it's not so all on your face yeah, yeah. so it's not uh, bright uh, yeah. it's softened it's it's soft yeah? yeah 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 because you get a lot of natural lighting this house has actually you have this uh, grass doors you have a window behind the railings and there's a window here yeah. so you have tons of natural lighting and uh you have this set table set up with a sitting area i mean it's very cozy the, the bedroom yeah, is very cozy yeah. it feels it feels warm just being inside it yeah yeah, yeah. it's a very nice setup and you have your wardrobes and uh this kind of wardrobes are becoming common whereby you can easily reach the top yeah. parts yeah? Can I, yeah and that's a good part to see and again Yeah, let's see what you have here. Yeah. And on this other side, you have your bathroom. Uh I'll come to your bathroom. We you have your vanity set up. You have a window there. You have this uh small glass screen separating your shower area and your your toilet. And you have a rain head almost similar to the other setup and uh well tiled. Wow. And the drain again. Yeah. So very good detail this one. This this is well done. I commend them for that. 
and uh, now let's just check out the the balcony space in fact it's open as you can see there you go wow look at that it's just something about this place i remember sometimes back we were touring another house at kamete road and mm. we talked about it having a shag feeling yeah this one i don't get a shag feeling here yeah i have feel so feel so peaceful so serene i yeah. don't know it's peaceful and it's in the city so that's the thing yeah. maybe that's why it's called tattoo city yeah yeah like it gives you a city feeling but also but also it's peaceful and peaceful. mind you at this time we are feeling this peaceful there's still construction going on so, so imagine with when this it's done. noise yeah if you were to take away this noise how quiet this space would be <laughs> it would be i don't know i don't know what to say but that's um unity homes for you and uh this this house is probably i can actually see myself living here i would want to live here yeah and mm. now i'm even considering it because uh especially because of jogging in the morning yeah jogging in a safe space yeah and because of this open lounge yeah the yeah. fact that it's all open you have your sitting area you have your i mean your dining area and your kitchen all open i can see myself living in this space for sure and uh thank you for watching i don't know with really this if you have any last words for this space um i would also like to live here yeah. i know we we talked about uh, that glass door yeah. at, uh, separating the dining area yeah. we talked about having it removed yeah. but i feel like it has settled in me like i would want that to also be part of it yeah so this would be a good place to live for yeah. me yeah yeah it's a good space it's yeah. a good environment yeah and uh we're going to leave all the details in the description for those who'll be interested uh, in this space and uh, thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and see you on the next episode my name is mark massa and behind the camera is willis